Iranian tablets yes. taken by men. I wondered what I might be missing out on. Freaking Chinese oil is so awesome. Hey, dude. Yeah, I know it's weird. Claimed it could make me it's probably your science teacher. <laughs> Are we with Houston Control or something? What's that? <laughs> okay, cool. Dialing in, that's your call waiting. So call you guys are in the gym? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you guys are funny. Or email me, poorman <laughs> at lovechat.com. You can advertise your business, a website, a band, advertise anything on the most exciting new live show on the internet, Love Chat. Again, only $50 gets you a 30-second TV ad and a banner on Love Chat. I think I think it's the, there's the technical part you probably don't mind. I got to turn everybody's mic back on. Sorry about that. I wanted I was I, I was trying to find something. We're we're just you know what you got a bonus. You didn't we didn't play commercials that uh, that long because we screwed up. So I'm sure you're happy with that. All uh, right, whatever you want to do, dude. Can you hear me? Yes. And you know what I love tactical duo's comment right when we went to break about uh, about between extends and what. Emodium. <laughs> it, it, he said it's quite a party, right? Oh, dude, you, if you were around Tactical Dude on his sense of humor, I got to get it on camera. He is so funny. He does cut out a lot of the great material. And yeah. it, it, no, I don't. Okay. That one doesn't I know, work. I'm, I'm trying to make it. Yeah, but they'll working? really think I do. I yeah. Hey, well, uh, one thing I want to say is the bond of gear, Jim. Okay. Yeah, uh, Can they hear me yet? Yeah, she sh I think you're on. Okay, <laughs> you understand me. One, uh, uh, just a real quick thought is uh, is what I call the bond of gear, and it sounds kind of dumb, but I'm going to use my son and myself as an example. Uh, what do you have? What gun do you have right now? It's still the 1911. Is it safety check? My 1911. Yeah. Safety, safety check at home again. We're in condition one right now. For those of you, you know people. What's condition? What's now. condition one? Um, hammer back, safety on. Round in the chamber, ready to fire. But in this case, it's not a real bullet. It's a snap cap. It's a dummy round that you can practice with. Yeah. Hey. Uh, but I'm going to use this. Uh, when I say the bond of gear, uh, I'll use doodle. Uh, let's say we buy this gun, and as father and son, we take a mutual interest in this gun, and we go out and shoot it together. <laughs> <laughs> Houston Control. We have a problem. It was a gun. <laughs> But uh, that is a good time. If you just bought this one gun, father and son, and both you guys really dig it, and you go out and spend time together, you have what I call a bonding through a gear item. Have we had that? Maybe you have. <laughs> he leaves me eye dry. That is so funny. But it, it's fun, and you can do that with your friends. And some of my, my best friends, we have these common interests, whether it's a gun, it's a knife, and then it gives us an excuse to go out and do adventures together. And that's fun. Uh, that's the bond of gear. And a lot of the team peers that are watching know what I'm talking about. So it's not just by, you know, stocking up for, you know, WROL preparedness. That is an aspect to this. But there's a fun side to it. There's a recreational side to it. And that is getting out and adventuring. Sorry about that. That's the old school poor phone. Continue. That's the NORAD phone. That was it's like the red phone. You remember the red phone? The red, you know, the Whopper computer? What was that movie? That's what he's got going. Yeah. It's a Whopper. It's an 80s movie reference. He doesn't know what to call yeah. it. Uh, uh, but anyways, I made the video today. And Jim, you are to thank for this. Thank you very much. It is uh, called uh, The Net and Fancy Project Year One. It is my compilation video. It's 35 minutes long. And it goes through all the reviews and adventures we've had. And if you want to see the bond of gear, go watch that video, and you'll see with my crew members, with my sons, my friends, getting out and having fun testing the gear. Yes, it's a lot of work, but it's also a lot of fun, yeah, and I it's think, a I good memory spent. I think we actually played that earlier today, too. 
Yeah, yeah you, you did. And uh, I think guys that were early in the show saw that. So it's on my channel page featured video now. We, we got another person on the old school poor phone. Who's this? Bring it. Hello? Uh, yeah, this is Andy. Andy, how old are you? 17. From where? Uh, Indiana. Okay, you're on with Nut and Fancy and his son, Tactical Doodle, and the entire family. Do not attack them. You will lose. Here, you aim on it, too. Don't, don't aim it, please. Andy, I'm, Andy, I'm listening. Go, dude. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Andy. I wanted to ask you about, uh, you did a video on uh, rifle plates and uh, body armor. Right. Do you, uh, what your uh, position is on civilian ownership. As far as... Uh, uh, I don't have any uh, problem with civilian ownership of that stuff. Yes. If I had a problem with ownership of that stuff, I would be a hypocrite, wouldn't I? Because, uh, because... What would the argument sound like if you say, hey, we don't want to have body armor in the hands of civilians? The argument would go like this. Well, uh, why? Well, because then they could be the Hollywood bank robbers. Is that my phone? Yeah. Dude, I got... Sure I have like eight of them going off. Don't worry. Beep. Who's calling? This like my best friend who should be watching me now. Instead, he's calling me. Um, but getting back... Uh, give, give out, put, his, put his number out on the show. That'll teach him. No. <laughs> Uh, we, yeah. we, we do that sometimes to punish people, you know? <laughs> the, the guy that was just calling, you can thank him for many of the guns that are reviewed on the Net Fancy Project. So thank you very much. How many, to, how many total guns have you reviewed? And, and you started, what, two years ago with your channel? No, one year ago. I mean, I've been on YouTube for a long time, but it was probably around one year ago I started getting serious and doing some reviews. How many guns? Uh, so, um, change the battery that would you. Yeah, start from uh, I don't know. Probably, uh, it's on my channel page. I bet you I have, what would you guess, 700 gun reviews maybe? Seven, I just 700? No, no, not that much. Yeah, it's, like it. it's I, I don't know. I, I'd have to, uh, between the pistols and the rifles, I don't know. Um, I, I, I just would have to uh, take a guess. We don't make the distinction because while some people will say, hey, that you know, it's a gun, it warrants a separate numerical system we you know to us a gun is as much a tool as is you know a pair of snowshoes or the backpack or you know a knife we have a, a tactical doodle is there yeah. any is there any gun your dad doesn't know about oh yeah anything made before 1900 i'd feel fairly <laughs> safe in that but the black powder stuff not so much as forte nope don't know much about what, that. What's the most expensive gun in the world? Like, if you were to buy, I mean, if there was an auction for a gun, what would it go for and what is it? Like, if, like the most expensive gun if you were a collector. I'm sure Hitler's Luger. Serious? If Hitler had a Luger and you could confirm that it was Hitler's, that would probably be one of the most expensive guns in the world. I don't know. But it's going to be a collectible gun that has a very unique history that's very limited in number and production. If you talk about production guns, um, Barrett, any of the Barretts, you know, six, seven thousand dollars. Those are expensive Ooh, production custom, guns. Really, though. Well, custom guns, you can go all the way up. Custom shops, you know, like Talpas. Like, 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 just like the most expensive of any kind of gun, you know, of, of all. I mean, are there any that are a million dollars? Like, there's one gun only that's been made, or you know. I'm sure there are. There's a collector's market, much like there is with cars. Yeah, and I don't. That's really not my area of expertise. I. I wouldn't know, to be honest with you. Um, values of guns and stuff. Uh, there's a there's some experts out there that know a lot more than I do. Yeah, somebody uh, was in, somebody in the chat room just said an AR. Again, I I don't know what that is. They said you can get them on the street for a thousand bucks. 